Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we are going to talk about the first look of the ChatGPT agent, which just introduced like a couple of hours before. This ChatGPT agent is so amazing that it is going to give a tough competition to Perplexity's Comet browser and the Manas AI and the agentic AI, which is available in the market. So basically, ChatGPT now thinks and acts proactively by choosing from toolbox of agentic skills to complete the task of using tasks for you using its own computer. So basically, as you can see over here, the ChatGPT is going to uh, go a level further where it is going to take the user actions and then it is going to start working pretty much like how a user does, where it's gonna do the scheduling of your work or there may be searching for uh, the result that you're looking for, generating a spreadsheet and storing all the details over there. And also it will be using the power of the agent to perform the operation on behalf of you without you doing anything. If you really used the manas.ai before, you know what exactly I'm talking about. Over here, I have asked the manas.ai, which is a Chinese company. What it does is that it is going to uh, ask the, or maybe get the prompt from the user. And once you uh, enter the prompt, and then once you hit enter over here, it is going to go and use the power of the agentic multi-agent system to go and perform all these operations for you. It is going to start doing the planning, it's gonna do the thinking, pretty much like the thinking agent, and then it is gonna spawn its own computer called as Manas computer, where it is going to search for things that you have asked, and then it is going to go and open up a browser or any documentation it is required to search for, and then it's gonna go and search it for you, and then if you need, you can also, uh, it will also ask for a uh, input from the user. So basically you as a user will be still in the loop while anything is happening over there. And then you can take control uh, by using this particular operation over here, like take control, and then you can grab the information over there. But overall, as you can see over here, the Manus computer does exactly the same operation, which currently the ChatGPT agent is gonna do it for you. So basically, as you can see over here in this particular demonstration, the Manus AI agent has actually grabbed all the information from the particular page and then it started creating an MD file. And now, because I have asked to create an Excel sheet of all this information, now it is creating a CSV file and then storing all those information. That's exactly, so if you have seen the Manas agent right now, that's exactly what this uh, chat GPT agent is also going to do things for you. It is going to grab all the information that you are looking for uh, from the uh, from the suite of tools that it has got, like a visual browser, which is basically going to interact with the uh, graphical uh, user uh, interface, uh, and then it's also going to have something called as a text-based browser, which is going to handle uh, sampling, reasoning-based web queries, and then there is going to be something like terminals, API access via connectors, and browser takeover mode. So everything is there built in. And it is going to do the same kind of operation uh, which the Manas has done over here. See that now the Manas has actually given me all the different informations over here based on the Fortune 500 companies. And then uh, as you can see, there is an Excel sheet already. And this is actually running, the Excel sheet is actually running on the Manas computer over there. And this is quite amazing, like how it has grabbed all the information by, by checking multiple different sources of information and it has given me everything in a like matter of minutes over there. And this is how the chat GPT is also now bragging to bring this particular feature I'm telling you this is a Manus clone. It is doing it for you. But they have told that this ChatGPT agent is now built on the power of the computer you use, the terminal supports, everything built in, and the uh, HLM, HLE, or that is called as the Humanities Last Exam Score, seems to be very promising. They said that they have got uh, a whooping 41.6% score uh, in terms of the the way it could able to perform this operation for you in finding. And also the accuracy seems amazing in the frontier math over here, it is 27.4 percentage. And they've also said that they have got uh, a very good information based on the estimated time for the human to complete versus how this particular agent is doing things for you. This is all looking quite promising uh, on paper. And you'll also notice that the spreadsheet benchmark, I don't know what exactly this means is over here. Uh, the spreadsheet ben benchmark is just one step uh, lesser than the human over there, but I, I, 
I don't see uh, in the near future that this thing is going to overtake human pretty soon. It looks like they're pretty close already, which is quite amazing. So that is how the unified agentic system is going to do things for you uh, over here. And it's basically going to be pretty much like the Manas AI, which is going to have its own computer and do things over there. Well, as that said, now you may ask like how exactly to use this particular uh, chat gpt's new agentic capability well all you have to do right now is if you are a pro user or maybe an teams user you already have this capability in place but if you are like me who is using the plus user or maybe uh, or maybe a free user then you may not have the chat gpt's new agentic capability yet because it is still waiting for it to be rolled out but once it is rolled out you will see that this is this feature is going to be available for you and you may also think that, hey, Karthik, what exactly is the difference between this one versus the Perplexities uh, Comet browser? So if you have been following along the internet, you know there is something called as the Comet uh, browser, this one. This Perplexities Comet browser is pretty similar uh, to what the uh, what this chat gpt agent is going to do but guess what using this particular comet browser it can actually have its own chrome based browser for you and you can now start asking the questions uh, in the chromat browser and it is going to start doing uh, pretty much like the agentic operations for you but guess what this is still in the waiting list over here i have just waited for quite long and they have not really given me but if you are an upgraded uh, max user you should have the comet browser already and then you can see how things are uh, basically going to work this is also one of the agentic way of you dealing with searching getting the information out and things so everything is going to be done for you uh, over there so that is how uh, things are going to work uh, in the uh, in the comet browser and that's exactly how it is going to be working in the uh, in the chat gpt's uh, agent as well Finally, the last and foremost thing which I really wanted to stress in this particular video is its novel capabilities and novel risks. This is something that the ChatGPT uh, team has told that this release marks the first time user can ask ChatGPT to take actions on the web. This introduces new risks, particularly because ChatGPT's agent can work directly with your data whether it's information accessed through connectors or websites that you have logged in or via takeover mode. We have strengthened the robust control from the operator research preview and added safeguard for the challenges is handling sensitive information on the live web. But guess what? Even though they have said all these uh, things for us over here, there is still a lot of different uh, security risks over there. For example, there are chances for the prompt injections attack so basically the malicious instructions embedded in a web page uh, for example metadata or invisible element could trick the agent into unintended action such as sharing sensitive data from connectors or performing harmful actions on authenticated website and the agent's ability to take direct action increases the potential impact of the successful attack that is one of the major problem that we really have. And there is also a chance of the sensitive data exposure because there are chances that the employees may input sensitive business data, for example, customer email, product roadmaps into the agent, which could be retained for 30 days or used for model improvement unless opted out. So if you don't really opt out, ChatGPT is going to hold this information and OpenAI is going to use those information for training. And there are chances that the data transmitted to and from the agent could be intercepted if not properly encrypted, especially with the third party integration. So make sure that if you're going to be using this particular the chat gpt agent you're not really entering any sensitive information because it is going to be of an high risk and finally chat gpt team itself has told that they have a strongest safety stake for the biological risk what does it really mean is that if you're going to ask the agent to go and create uh, go and search for the information to make a bomb or something like that it is not going to allow it because there is going to be an uh, a safeguard associated with it using this preparedness framework so if you just go and look for what is this preparedness framework that the open ai has created they have got a safeguarding framework which is going to tell you how exactly the the open ai's uh, a model are going to respond based on a specific questions that you're going to ask so it is going to be on our highest 
threshold capability, which means you can't just go and ask these questions to uh, to the OpenAI's agent uh, because it is not going to answer you those questions if you ask that way. That's what they have told, but I'm pretty much not sure how this is going to happen uh, in reality because they have also told that there are chances that there may be some cracks that these things could leak out completely. So these are the safeguard problems that they have. They have already explicitly mentioned because something goes wrong, they will be in papers. That's the reason why they have told that. But yeah, that's what this is all about. But again, if you are asking about when this chat GPT agent is going to be available, it is going to be available for the Pro Plus and Teams user immediately. But uh, the Plus uh, users like me will not have access until next few days. So I cannot really try it out yet unless until I have access, but I'm just happy to use the Manas AI. It's pretty much exactly doing what I'm looking for. So that's all about the ChatGPT agent that we have seen, which is released today. And let me know about your thoughts on how this ChatGPT agent is going to be used within your own workflow and how you're going to be using it in your life and, and how you're going to enhance productivity of yours by using this ChatGPT agent. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.